Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, thanks for checking me out. So in today's video, we are making chicken alfredo lasagna. Yes, the best two pasta dishes combined into one. And I'm gonna make it a little bit more user-friendly by taking a few shortcuts. So if you wanna see how to get this meal served on your table, stay tuned. Okay guys, let's get to it. So the first shortcut that we're gonna take is by using a rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chickens are such a convenience factor. You can do so many different things with them. So that's what we're gonna use to make this chicken alfredo lasagna. And look at how good that rotisserie chicken is. I almost hate to destroy it like I'm about to destroy it. But what we're gonna start to do is take the pieces of the chicken off peel them apart so i'm starting with the drumstick i'm just peeling that apart then we'll go to the breast and we're just gonna peel the pieces of the chicken off the chicken <laughs> and um i'm gonna remove the skin but if you would like to keep the skin on yours feel free to do so and if you have some little people in your house aka kids this would be a great thing for them to do and to help you cook so not only is the rotisserie chicken delicious and very convenient, but it costs like the same or if not even less than what it would cost you if you bought a whole chicken and prepared it yourself. So I find it a very valuable tool to use in the kitchen. So now that we have the chicken peeled off the chicken, we're just gonna dice it up into smaller bite-sized pieces. So again, the rotisserie chicken is so versatile. You can use it in so many different ways. Be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know how you like to best use your rotisserie chicken. So we're just gonna continue to get this chicken all diced up. You know I'm gonna have to grab me a piece or two because that's just one of the perks of cooking dinner. You can sneak a piece or two while you're making it. So yeah, we're gonna get the chicken diced up and then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is gonna be to make our filling. So to start our filling off right, we're gonna use some ricotta cheese. What is a lasagna without ricotta cheese? Even though this is a chicken alfredo lasagna, we are still using ricotta cheese because it is a necessity for me. I mean, I love ricotta cheese. If you don't want to, you can use just cream cheese. Um, and I am getting every little bit of ricotta cheese out of that container. As high as food is, I want every penny that I had to spend on this ingredient. So yeah, so we're just gonna get the ricotta cheese in there and then we're gonna add some egg and salt and pepper and a little parsley and get that all mixed up. I would like to give a quick shout out to all of my subscribers. You guys are giving me life. I appreciate you watching my videos. And if this is your first time here, like I said, thanks for checking me out. Consider subscribing to the channel where you will see a lot of good recipes coming your way. And while I'm sitting here editing this video, you know what I just thought of that would just set this recipe off? <laughs> seafood. You can make a seafood Alfredo lasagna. You could add some crab meat, some lobster, some salmon, whatever kind of seafood you like. Shrimp. Oh my God, that would be the bomb. I mean, I just got really excited thinking about that. So comment seafood below if you would like to see me make this recipe with seafood. Oh my God, that would be so delicious. Okay, so while I was running my mouth about the seafood, um, I added some shredded Parmesan cheese that I just happen to have in the refrigerator. I'm also adding now some frozen spinach that I thawed out and squeezed all the water out. I'm adding that in and then I'm also gonna add, I have some cream cheese. And I'm going to add in there. I let that come to room temperature so it could be soft and able to work with. 
And I'm also going to add, I think I have some mozzarella cheese and also some, a bag of Romano and Parmesan. So you can add whatever cheeses you would like. You can add cheddar, Gouda, you know, whatever floats your boat, whatever cheese you would like to add in there. And then we're going to go ahead and start getting that chicken in there and getting that all incorporated together. So my mixture is a little bit on the stiff side and I'm okay with that because I know that I'm adding the Alfredo sauce um, to finish it up. So it's going to be plenty saucy, but if you prefer to have your filling a little bit like looser, you can feel free to add like a, a splash of milk or heavy whipping cream or something like that. And I completely forgot that I sauteed some onions and garlic together, so I threw that in. And then I'm just going to season this uh, filling just a little bit with some salt and pepper. Here, I have a vegetarian in the house, so I have to make like a separate pan for her. So instead of the chicken, I just um, prepared, um, what is it called? Like that, I think it's called like a California blend. It has broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. So I just boiled that, I chopped it up, and I did the same thing with her. So the vegetables are her substitute for chicken. So here I am adding those cheeses that I mentioned earlier, and we're just going to go ahead and get all that mixed up. All right, guys, so here comes shortcut number two. I'm going to use some jarred Alfredo sauce. Now, nine times out of 10, I make my own Alfredo sauce, but again, I wanted to show you how you can make this without making it like an all day process or you know, if you're intimidated by making Alfredo from scratch, just another way that you can do it. So I just took about a tablespoon of butter, melted it down, I added two jars of the most basic ragu Alfredo sauce and I'm just quote unquote doctoring it up. So I've added some cheese, what else did I add? Oh, and some seasonings, like some garlic powder, onion powder. So we just got that all mixed up. And then of course you do wanna taste it for seasoning. I find the jarred Alfredo sauce a little bit on the bland side. So you can add whatever seasonings you, know, you feel necessary. If you like more garlic, add garlic powder, onion powder, you know what you like. So now our sauce is complete. And if you wanna just make it even easier, you don't have to do everything that I did. I just like to doctor some things up just because I know how I like it. But if you're cool with you know regular Alfredo sauce out the jar, feel free to pour it right in your dish. You don't have to do all the extra steps. All right, so now for the fun part. So we're gonna put the filling into the lasagna noodles. Now I made lasagna roll-ups, so I'm gonna put the filling in and then I'm gonna roll it up. But you could also just make it like a straight lasagna. So then you would just put the lasagna down in the pan on top of the Alfredo sauce and then just continue to layer it. But again, I made roll-ups, so I am putting the filling on top of the lasagna noodle and again mine is on the stiffer side because i know that i have that alfredo sauce coming so i don't need it to be like really saucy in the filling and then we're just gonna roll that up and then once it's all rolled up you want to roll it kind of tightly so it'll stay together and then you're gonna put it seam side down into the alfredo sauce on your casserole dish Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this recipe so far. That way YouTube can suggest this recipe to other people who might like to make chicken alfredo lasagna. Oh, 
Okay, and real quick, I'm just showing you one more roll up. I'm sure you probably got the hang of it by now, but I forgot like the first couple that I did to add additional cheese once I put the filling on. So you wanna add your filling, add additional cheese. If you so desire, you don't have to, but if you like cheese, like I like cheese, then go ahead and add a little bit more cheese on there. And those are the roll-ups all in the casserole dish. Now I'm gonna take that Alfredo sauce and just pour it all over the top. And then I'm gonna take a spoon and just kinda mix it around over the top, make sure it's not too dry on any spots. And the last step before it goes in the oven is you wanna go ahead and top it with some cheese of your choice. I'm using mozzarella. Again, like I said, you can use whatever kind of cheese you like. And then we are gonna put this in the oven uncovered on 350 degrees for about 30 minutes or so. Okay, our chicken Alfredo lasagna is out of the oven, all hot and bubbly. Look at that sauce. It is just divine. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of fresh parsley on top just for garnishment and presentation purposes. If you don't have fresh parsley, of course you can use some dry parsley flakes, but OMG, look how delicious. So let's get served. I'm gonna pull a piece out of the casserole dish and it is looking delicious. You can pair this meal with a side salad, some garlic bread if you so desire. I mean, it's, it's nice and saucy. All the flavors are there. This just turned out to be a wonderful dish. And again, I'm still thinking about that seafood. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that like in a few days just for myself, just to do a little taste test. But yes, guys, this turned out awesome. Let me know in the comments what you think of this recipe. Should I use different cheeses next time? But I was very pleased with this dish. So I'm really glad you tuned in to watch this video. Like I said, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, but wait, let's get into this lasagna just real quick before y'all go. Look how saucy, it's cheesy. And of course, my fork wouldn't cooperate because I'm holding the camera with one hand, trying to scoop it up with the other hand, and I couldn't get it. But trust me, it was delicious. So like I said, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time.